Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us today. Today I am absolutely super pumped because I have with me none other than Vanessa Williams. Hey Vanessa. Hey, how are you? I'm great. I'm so excited that you're with us tonight. I'm very excited to be here. Well, this is a really big treat for our, our um, Facebook group, for our Master Number 11 portal, because Vanessa has very graciously agreed to come on and do a tarot card reading um, for Master Number 11s where we're going to find out what you guys can expect in February of 2019. Now this reading is going to apply to anybody who um, has a master number 11, as a life path number, expression number, heart's desire number, birthday number. If you have an 11 somewhere in your chart that's a core number, this message is intended for you. So if you happen to just fall upon this message, you better listen up. And that is exactly how I um, discovered Vanessa's work. I mean, we've known each other for a little bit through the portal, but I actually went to her YouTube channel and I checked out, um, it's called Beyond Your Sun Sign. And I checked out the, uh, the video that she did for December. And honest to God, guys, I really felt Vanessa did that, you know, that uh, tarot spread for Ann Perry. Like, there was just, I, you know, I just went to check it out. You know, I started thinking I really liked her, I liked your vibe, you know, I liked her. and I was so blown away by it that I actually personally had a reading done uh, by her and I've never looked back. I'm just completely um blown away uh, you're just that good so uh she combines astrology with tarot tonight we're just gonna be doing tarot but um i wanted you guys to be introduced to her i wanted you to see what she can do um she has a website um, beyondyoursunsign.com uh, you can check it out you can purchase your readings there um i think your website's a little bit under construction right now yes let's just say that <laughs> okay <laughs> it's, all, it's all good right it's a, it's a yeah. it's okay but anyway, I am, uh, I'm just thrilled to see what's going on for the 11th this month. So anything you want to add to that? No, um, essentially how this works is you want to just get relaxed, get calm. The good thing about me doing this tarot reading online is that you guys are already in your comfort element. You're at home, you're hanging out. So it's a lot easier for the messages to kind of get downloaded into you. Um, if something resonates, rewind and watch it again, just to make sure, because sometimes you don't hear the messages. Uh, at the right time, right? So definitely watch this video more than once to really to really listen to the messages that come through. But this is for the month of February 2019. And yes, I'm excited. <laughs> so, will it be okay if I ask the odd question while we're going through this? Of course, please okay. do. Okay. Please do. Awesome. So ready to start? We are ready to start. Okay, so I want to let you guys know that before I even start a reading, I always ask the cards for just a couple cards to pop out to know that the reading is ready. So the two cards that popped out are the Five of Cups and the Six of Cups. So Anne, you know about the Five and the Six energy, right? The Five of Changes and the Six of Responsibilities. Yep. yep. So what that tells us, and then... Think about it. You add the five and the six together and you get 11. Ooh, it's a well, song. Right. And February happens to be the fifth universal month, right? So there you go. And the three universal year, add it to two for February. And that comes up to a five. Perfect. Because yeah. what these cards are showing is that now everybody with the 11 energy, we're being kind of forced to stop looking at, you know, the spilt milk, the spilt blood, the, the emotional past, and really build that bridge and move on because our family and friends, they need us. <laughs> they definitely need us. Actually, reading over uh, the document you sent me about the 11 energy, mm -hmm. and it was, saying that, it was saying that 11s will take on responsibilities from their family and friends, and it ends up being, and I say this to myself all the time, it ends up being that we're that support system for our family and friends and we're looking around like who's who's us for us <laughs> yeah. yeah what are you there for you, yourselves yeah absolutely exactly exactly and, and i should remind the group that you are an 11. yes right. <laughs> i struggle, I struggle with the 11. Was, you know but, but it's nice to know that vanessa is in fact um an 11. So. one of you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah she's so one of we're, really, we're really being pushed this month to let go of what's not serving us anymore um, so that we can get back to focusing on what really does serve us. And that's giving love. That's truly what we're here for is to give love. There is a certain relationship in the 11's lives, which, of course, uh, we don't know where it's going. So we're not doing anything. We're just sitting there. You're waiting. Anything because of it. And that non-decision is a decision, you know. Mm -hmm. 
not putting up boundaries. We're just sitting there being like, what's going to happen instead of initiating those changes that February gives us, right? Right. And choo choosing not to move forward or do anything about it is a choice in itself. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So this is awesome because it is love month and this reading for everybody who is drawn and who has the 11 energy is about our soulmates, our wow. soul, our twin flames. I would want to make the assumption that if you are, if you are an 11 or have an 11 energy, you're probably in a relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're probably coupled up with someone. Is that person your soulmate? You know, in your heart, whether or not that person speaks your love language, whether or not that person is vibing with you and has the same energetic, you know, level of interest and love, you know, in your heart, whether or not you're with your soulmate and the obstacles to your relationship with your soulmate is risk taking or lack thereof. So you want to take some sort of leap of faith. You want to take some sort of risk when it comes to a soulmate relationship, whether that be, maybe that's leaving your current partner to search for your soulmate. Or maybe it's saying, you know what, I'm now going to invest my partner because I'm realizing, okay, this is my twin flame slash soulmate. This is taking, oh, sorry, go ahead, Ann. I was just going to say, because again, here we are in February, which is the second month in a third universal year, bringing in the five energy, which is all about taking risks. Right, exactly. Right. Adventurous yeah. risks, right? Yeah. Because fortune really does favor the brave. And I forget what book I was reading. I was saying, you want to act like you're a baby or an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I can do both. <laughs> yeah, because babies and idiots, they're all, they always seem to be captioned that way. Right? Yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> they love without judgment as well. They, they truly love without judgment. You see a child, you see a baby that is just so enamored to just be in your presence and to just give you that love and non-judgment. So this month is really forcing anybody with 11 energy to take a leap of faith when it comes to a soulmate relationship, okay? Subconsciously, so this is what we haven't acknowledged. We are emotionally confused about something. We've been left in the dark about something that relates to our emotions. Mm -hmm. okay? That's probably something that a lot of 11 struggle with, um, that, that dichotomy between independence and then cooperation. It leaves us feeling very confused, right? Mm -hmm. It leaves us feeling like, well, you know, should we be independently moving forward or should we be slowing down and kind of smelling the flowers? So this emotional confusion is where everything is stemming from. If it's in your subconscious, that means that that's how you're living your life with just this, huh, I don't know, I don't know, that in yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And yeah. that fear, it's a fear because we feel confused, we feel left alone, and we feel like maybe if we don't make the right decision, we're going to regret it in the future. Mm -hmm. But and the advice you just gave me the other day that just really opened me up about staying in the present moment. You know, do you remember what I'm talking about? When we did your reading? Yeah. Yeah, yeah staying, yeah, exactly. Because that is one of the most challenging things for an 11 to do is to stay in the moment. And mm -hmm. we have to remember we, you know, the future is not tangible. We can't touch it, right? It's not, there's nothing you can do with it. The only where, place that you can evoke any kind of change is right now. Exactly, right. exactly. Right. exactly. And it's accepting that we know everything we need to know right now in this moment. It's exactly. trusting that, right? Yeah. yeah, having that faith. And it's almost like blind faith, right? Because yes, it, it is. A lot of times it's not rooted in fact or reality, but as an 11s, we do know, we get that, we're that conduit, right? So we know yeah. things without knowing it. And it can be very frustrating for the people around us who are like, listen, 11, be more realistic. That's not, that doesn't make sense. And it's like, no, we know that everything's going to be okay. Yes. So we pushed and pulled between realism and idealism, right? Yes. yes, exactly. So that is what's going on beneath the surface. But what we're thinking about is creating something, okay? And that makes sense for it being a three-year, right? Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. very much in alignment with uh, the universal energies. You're going to feel that pull of 2019 saying create something, and able to create something that you actually birth and you can nurture with a lot of feminine uh, energy. So it's a very, it's a very subtle energy, uh, but it's a very intense nurturing. Um, what was I just reading where they were saying, yes, they were saying when it comes to work, um, think about a mom who wakes up at four o'clock in the morning to change her baby's diaper, mm -hmm. right? That's work, <laughs> you know, that, 
work. If you're a parent, you know that that's work, but it's work that you actually enjoy doing. It comes from a place of love. So this creative energy, what 11s are really trying to create right now is that work, but is feels like play that feels like love that doesn't feel like work. Okay. That, that's quite interesting because the, 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 um, when you think about the twos, the fours, and the eights, okay, um, they're all business. Twos, fours, and eights are business. But the two, the 11, the two, mm -hmm. um, is somebody who has to do business heartfelt. Right. Not right. heartfelt, right? So um, it, it's sort of an interesting thing. Those, those of you who are practitioners, massage mm -hmm. therapists, you know, any, anybody involved in the healing arts, that sort of thing, this could be uh, a really important message for you. Exactly. And, and I've come to even realize that when it comes to a soulmate relationship, this might sound crazy, but a lot of times it's not even a person. You can have a soulmate relationship with a profession, with a career, with a oh. team. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Places yeah. where your soul, where you feel that pull in your soul, that's a soulmate relationship, right? You bring up a good point because I know um, you identified in the reading that you did for me that you felt that um, a friend of mine was my soulmate. And this, right. this soulmate is female. So exactly. we can have more than one soulmate. Right? Absolutely. Because I know Absolutely. that I'm, I'm with my soulmate in terms of my male partner, right? But I have, right. I have some friends that, that I would consider soulmates. So. Exactly. So yeah. if the 11s are feeling this pull to create something, to birth something, you want to get back to that heart place and really question, is that my soulmate? You know, is that situation my soulmate? Is that where my soul is pulling me toward? Um, however, I need to kind of give a little disclaimer that this card, nine times out of ten, could be pregnancy. So, <laughs> 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 if, if some 11 was not, just think about it. Energy, you know, I got pregnant in my three year, like that creative energy, if, if you're not putting it in the right places. But it could be giving birth to ideas. <laughs> That's what is, but who knows? Hey, I it's want all self expression this year, right? It's all about yeah. self expression. So yeah. <laughs> very, very true. Okay. So this is how people are viewing us right now. Yeah. People are viewing the 11s, I guess because of 2018 being an 11 year, we've gone through some sort of shift. We've gone through the incredible shift where we're now feeling more magic, where we're able to actually wield and turn the wheel of our lives and get more direction. So although we're emotionally confused and subconsciously, yeah. we still in our mind know that we have control over the physical world and the tangible reality, right? So emotions, yeah, that's, that's a hard thing, but tangibly, we do have a sense of control and that's what people are seeing. They're like, okay, that 11, you know, they really know what they're doing. They're really shifting things and they are so lucky. <laughs> like, we're blessed right now. The, any energy that you have is being magnified and, and um, brought out in a very powerful way. We have tons of luck. We have tons of luck. Well, I think possibly why that's happening too is that last year in 2018, being that, that it was an 11 universal year, all of us, regardless of what our life path numbers are, all of us were under this blanket of illumination. So we saw what we needed to do. And I feel that this is the year when we can all step into it. Yes. Would you agree? Is that in alignment with the cards here? I think Absolutely. It's, and yeah. it feels very empowering as well. It feels, it feels almost like we're being pushed into our power where it, it's no, you know, we, we left our insecurities back in 2018. Yeah, yeah. 2018, we're, we're coming right off the, out of the gate. We're saying we want to create something. We know that we have a soulmate union in our lives. We're ready to take that leap of faith. Um, however, this emotional confusion beneath the surface is creating some blockers. It is creating some stop and go where it's like, I want to do this, but I don't feel worthy, right? I, I'm going to feel judged. You know, I'm going to feel this way. So our emotions are kind of saying, er, pump the brakes, whereas we don't need to because we're in control. We're in the driver's seat now, which is... It's a nice feeling because I feel like, you know, yeah. especially with Path 11, I don't remember the last time I felt in control where I'm like, no, you know, I'm the captain of the <laughs> ship. <laughs> it's been very rare because we're, we're constantly kind of taking a step down for other people to step into their light. Yes. And now we're like, no, we have spotlight too and we're ready to, we're ready to shine. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. So, there's somebody in our family slash friend circle that has fire energy. So the fire energy is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. <laughs> so it's you, 
for me. <laughs> <laughs> this person is very clever. Um, they're getting to the end of something. They're finishing something. And there's an R in their name. Uh, they're very smart when it comes to, ooh, this is sounding like you. So I'm seeing also like math, like I'm seeing like the pie symbol. So yeah. <laughs> numbers and math, like they're really, they're, they're, they have a lot of pride as well. So there's something about their ego um, and their pride that we need to learn from. Uh, think about Leo energy, you know, Leo fire, very fire, very impulsive. A Leo walks into a room, they could have no credentials. They could, have, they could be homeless. They walk into a room and people are like, oh, they naturally get that attention because they have that, uh, that pride um, and that confidence. And this is where we really need to be taking some of their cues. We need to really be listening to the fire signs in our lives and be like, what do they have that I lack, but you of course also have it inside of you that needs to be brought out because that's going to clear up the emotional confusion. Would that, um, I'm just thinking, cause you know, kind of, um, that's the word I want to say, having started this group, having promoted this group, having, helping to grow this group and whatnot, my rising sign is Leo. Leo. Exactly. Exactly. You paid attention to me. <laughs> Follow Anne's lead. Follow Anne's lead. She is the leader. But yeah, it's that fearlessness, right? You have that fearlessness. Fearlessness. Confidence to you. You're, you're not afraid to, to do what you want to do and to speak your truth. And that's that we all need to benefit and learn from yeah. like that's just you know <laughs> and it's basic and it comes easy for you but that's something that i think 11s truly struggle with mm -hmm. is stepping into their power stepping out into the spotlight and not being afraid to kind of you know let your yourself shine right right, right. exactly okay this is a really interesting uh card <laughs> and i know that you're gonna have some more information on it this is our hope and our fears for February 2019, anybody with 11 in their chart, and this is money. This is new money slash new power. Why on earth would we fear new money? Is that not so 11? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys don't receive very well. <laughs> Just putting that out there. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, it's true. It's very because true. Because money, especially for women, what I found, money equals power. You know, yeah. the more money, especially a female has, the more in power she or he feels. Mm -hmm. so one of the reasons why we fear this money is because it means more obligation, possibly more responsibilities, um, you know, not being able to take that risk right. because of the financial yeah. um, uh, or the power aspect of it. But the good thing is, 11s, is that if you're hoping for it, you're manifesting it. Mm -hmm. So there's no point of fearing it. Because <laughs> right, right. when you fear it, there's some limitations on it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you guys so are the poster children for sabotaging. Mm. You know, self undoing, sab yeah, self sabotage. Am I good enough? You know, am I, am I smart enough? Am I tall enough? Am I young enough? Old enough? Whatever. Am I enough on some level to right. be worthy of manifesting this money? Right. Well, it's exactly what your last video was talking about, Anne. It comes from a parent a lot of the times, a parent or a person in authority that looked at us as a kid and said, you know, in some way or another that, that you, that we weren't worthy. You know, for me, I remember, you know, going to say something and being hit in the back of the head. That was stupid. And ever since then, I was like, Ooh, I won't say another word, <laughs> you know, and right. we hold on to that when we're kids exactly. and as, as adults, you know, we just, try and project that onto someone else. <laughs> but clearly, it's just not onto our own kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're going to do the so, this time around. The good thing is, though, 11s, is we're going to keep thinking like this. We're going to keep thinking that we want to create something. We're going to keep thinking that we have the soulmate um, tools, I guess you could say, to possibly take this leap of faith and create something. With this thought process, it brings in Queen of Swords, so a female energy air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and that also brings in some conflict, okay? So obviously this Queen of Swords is not going to be um, on your side when it comes to creating this new thing and taking this leap of faith, and it's going to come to a point where you need to decide whether or not you want to give in to that fear of judgment from the, and, and not feeling accepted by this Queen of Swords. Or if you want to finally say, you know, screw it. Like, I'm going to live 
my life and not worry about this. And I know like, especially as an 11, I know that that's, it's very, it's not an easy task, but mm -hmm. this is the year to really do that self-expression and say, I'm sick and tired of being emotionally confused. I want to take a leap of faith with my soulmate. I'm shifting things. I'm in control. I'm tired of being fearful of my power and yeah. money, you know, and yeah. take that, that leap of faith. It will cause conflict, but that conflict is needed to really make you realize, right? Um, what was the quote I just read? Um, not speaking your mind ends up creating inner conflict. So we're really going to be pulled to say, listen, queen of swords, not happy with this treatment. I don't like the conflict and I'm going my own way. I'm creating something uh, with what I want to do. It's interesting because, um, where, where, I have, what was I trying to thought going with that? You were talking about, oh, so last year being that, that it was 2018, um, that 11 universal year caused us to see that which has been hidden from us, mm -hmm. right? Everything that's been hidden from us that's sort of been in the, in the background in the shadows, um, we were able to see it last year. So we right. need to understand that up until the end of March, we've got the shadow or sh shadow, the shoulder season of 2018. So you've still got the benefit of that energy lighting your way. Okay. So helping you to see things for what they really are. Yeah. And right? what, what do we do with it though? A lot of the times, like I had a lot of illuminations last year and I'll be completely honest, I didn't do anything with them. Mm -hmm. right. I just looked at people like, ugh. But right. I still welcome them into my life instead of putting up those boundaries. Right. But you're wiser for having recognized them, though. That's true. Right? You know what you're dealing with. That's, right. that's what I think is so beautiful about it, is you, you know what you're dealing with. Um, there's a certain politician who will remain unnamed, <laughs> who, who's been under scrutiny big time, you know? But now the world knows what they're dealing with, mm -hmm. and they'll know how to better handle it. Right. That visibility equals truth in a, in a lot of situations. Yeah, it does. It does, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, so they got a lot to look forward to? I think so. I love, okay, the way I see it, this card, I have, I think there's 78 cards in the deck. So when okay. this one card, there's only one card that symbolizes soulmate, when yeah. this one card pops out, I know it's not messing around. And for this card to pop out, which is very rare, especially in my readings, yeah. um, it, it makes me very excited to know that a lot of the 11s and the 11 energy are with the person that they're meant to be with in order to develop their, their soul's journey. Right. It, right. Which is, it's so rare because a lot of people just couple up with, you know, <laughs> with whoever. But it's nice to know that if you even in even a little bit suspect that the person you're with or the person that you're supposed to be with or want to be with is your soulmate, that's your sign. That is your cue to just go for it. Speak your truth. Be honest. You know, I have so many clients that I love this person, but I can't tell them. I'm like, well, why not? Oh, well, they're this, that, this, that. And I'm like, just be honest. <laughs> just right. speak right. your truth. If it's supposed to work out, it's going to work out. If it's exactly. Supposed to work out, if this truly is your soulmate, you will be with this person. Absolutely. And oh, one, one thing, of course, that tends to happen is a lot of the times people are afraid to speak their truth because that person is in another relationship. Right. And for me, I'm like, still do it. Yeah. <laughs> still do it. I totally agree. <laughs> you okay. don't want to, you don't want to leave tomorrow without, you don't, you don't want to leave your body tomorrow with, with having that, that, uh, unresolved love on your heart, you know, spread love. Yeah. Spread. I went through it. But six so, years ago, I went through it. <laughs> turned out yeah. that my soulmate was my boss and you know I, I I actually had to take him aside to say I don't know what this is but I've never felt like this before it was something that oh. came out like that really fast um and it was just bam there it was and so I took oh, him aside and said, I don't know what this is and he said I was coming here to tell you exactly the same thing <gasps> oh we, my god yeah. so we, we that's this that's the Ann Perry energy <laughs> Right? Need to follow this month. Follow this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just for us six years ago, it was it was absolutely life changing when I when I actually woke up and recognized that I was actually working. Uh, I was working a corporate job back then, and I recognized that my boss was my soulmate, and we've been together um, ever since. And happy. That's amazing. So yeah. So go That's for it. I'm feeling it. Go for that it. That also reminds me, Anne is. If we, if we are with our soulmates, you know, showing appreciation, showing that love, you know, doing yeah. something, especially this Valentine's Day, yeah. um, 
just doing something special to be like, I love you. You're my soulmate. Sometimes, you know, that's all anybody wants to hear is that because for me, soulmate, that's unconditional love. If I'm with my soulmate, I know unconditionally that I'm meant to be with you. My soul is, is connected to your soul. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to love you regardless. I'm going to start showing that. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, when you meet your soulmate, don't sit there and wonder, is he or is he not my soulmate? Because if you're questioning, is he or she my, my soulmate, they're not your soulmate. Right. You know it. When you meet them, when you encounter them, it's like, you know, you know yeah. it. Okay. Exactly. So exactly. Happy, you know. So doing something special, maybe I'll say, um, you, you don't have to cook on your birthday. <laughs> His birthday happens to be February 14th. I was going to say, you're with an Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, February 14th. His birthday's on Valentine's Day. Maybe I'll take him out for supper. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> um, so is there more to the reading or can I, can I announce what's going on? That is the reading for the 11th for February. You are amazing. Would it be okay if, it, if they posted a couple of questions down below if they had questions? Absolutely. 100%. Perfect. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have another surprise coming. Um, so if you liked what we did here today, I would really appreciate you letting us know. Message me, message Vanessa, put something down below publicly, whatever you got to do, because this is something we're hoping to do once a month, okay? So this would be really fun to kind of get your feedback um, to see uh, if this is working for you and how you've applied it. Can't imagine that it wouldn't be. Um, so we have the Master Number 11 membership portal. Um, many of you know that the price went down to $11 a month. Okay. It's crazy. It's like $2 and 75 cents a week. It's less than a coffee. So if you guys really want to grow into your 11 ness if you really, really want to take a step forward this year, this is your year of expansion. This is 2019. It's a three year of expansion. Please don't think this is an infomercial. It's not. Um, but I want you to know it's worth checking out. We've actually put a video in there that, uh, Stephanie Garcia and I did, um, how to embrace your, uh, unique selves is in there. Um, and you can watch that for free. You can check out masterlumber11.com. I'll put the link down below. Um, but coming up this month on February the 18th at four o'clock Eastern time, that'll be noon Pacific time. Um, Vanessa and I are going to get together. We're going to be doing a live taping. Now, if you're a part of the membership, you'll be able to attend this live taping. So, um, we're going to be calling it, how can the master number 11 attract their soulmate? Okay. And firsthand, it starts with self-love. Okay. And so Vanessa is going to be um, helping us to understand um, how to honor ourselves. Firstly, um, we're going to understand how we love because everybody loves, loves differently, but how does the 11 love specific to that? How does the 11 really put it out there? Um, how they see themselves, how the 11 sees themselves, what they need to let go of, there's going to be a bonus uh, message from your spirit guides are going to come through here. So this is, uh, this is pretty cool. So we're going to be creating a spread, which is really going to help to highlight the obstacles, allowing you to identify um, problems possibly within yourself that are causing problems within your relationship. You can't miss this, right? I mean, it's worth 11 bucks, man. Like, you can't miss this. And can so, I just add one thing in? Yeah. At the, at the end, right, yeah. I'll, I'll, if people have live questions, I'll definitely pull cards as well. And that's the beauty of this is because you will be able to, atta to, to um, attend. It'll be in a Zoom format just like this. You guys will be all within the room. As we're doing the taping, um, you sort of sit quietly in the background. But afterwards, we open it up for questions. Great point. So you'll be able to interact with both myself and Vanessa. So uh, this is your time to, to get live with us. And we would love for you to join us. That would be awesome. So... Right now, I want to suggest that you check out um, Vanessa's YouTube channel. So are your February ones up yet? I, let's just say yes. There's three missing. <laughs> but yeah. Mine's the first one, so <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> well, yes, let's just, by the time that, but yes, they're up. They're up. Yeah, okay, it's all good. It's all good. And if they're not quite up, it's all right. They're going to be up, so it's all good. Um, anyway, that's fantastic. Uh, I so appreciate you coming on today. This has been so much fun. You, you are so, so much, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Love it. Love I, you. I love you too. You get the 11s and that's what's so, so magnificent. And uh, I just, you know what? This expression of um, come grow with us keeps coming up, C keeps coming through me. Just come grow with us. And I hope that all the 11s will do, in fact, that, that they'll tune in next month to uh, our next reading of the tarot cards. 
And um, I haven't decided yet what that's going to be, but uh, stay tuned. We'll let you know. And uh, we sure hope that you'll join us in the Master Number 11 membership portal um, for February 18th. And that is, again, 4, four o'clock Eastern time, and that will be noon Pacific time. And even if you join the membership and you can't attend the live event, it's going to be recorded so that it'll be sent out in an email afterwards and it'll be posted in the Master Number 11 group anyway. So you can always tune in afterwards. So, all right, that's it for tonight. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in. Thanks, Vanessa. Love you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye for now.